Hi guys, and welcome to my bathroom. I'm about to take you through my eight step nightly skincare routine. This is what my face looks like out of the shower without washing it. I usually like to wash my face at the sink so that um, I can make sure that the temperature isn't too hot because I usually take hotter showers and I know that's a little bit harsh on the skin. So let's get started. So this is my cleanser. It's by Vibant Skincare. It's uh, made with mandelic acid and it's kind of like a three-in-one in the way that it cleanses your skin and the acid helps exfoliate the dead skin cells while also being anti-inflammatory and antibacterial. Um, so it's really good at helping your skin rejuvenate and make your skin tone a little bit more even. Um, I initially got this from my esthetician that I go to and they price for uh, $40, but one of these will easily last about a year. So it's definitely worth it. This is the toner that I use after cleansing. Um, it's by DHC, it's their mild lotion, and I actually found it initially through researching on the reissue blog, but I actually purchased it from Walmart. That was um, what was going to ship the fastest and had the best price. I believe I paid $17 for this. If you can tell, it's in like a nice frosted glass bottle and it's pretty big. Like I've had it for probably like almost two months and I've kind of barely made a dent in it and I use it twice a day. So um, I love it. It's nice and moisturizing and kind of perfect for um, my serum. So here's step number three. It is my serum that is from The Ordinary. I purchased it from Sephora for I think $5.60. Uh, it is niacinamide 10% and zinc 1%, which is really good for if you have acne prone or like red skin or any kind of pigmentation issues. Um, it's very anti-inflammatory. It minimizes your pore appearance and it actually regulates your sebum, which is perfect for me because I have really oily skin, especially being in Savannah, and it kind of smooths your skin over time, which is great, and I've actually read a lot about uh, it being super beneficial as a serum before you use vitamin A, which is what I'm gonna use next. <music> Step number four, which is my Environ Skin Essentia uh, ABST Gel Vitamin A. Um, I absolutely swear by this. I've been using it for about two years. It is a little pricey. It's about $57 a bottle, but they last for about eight months. And this has worked wonders for my skin. Um, I actually luckily don't have to pay that full price because of uh, my neighbor's job being an esthetician. So luckily she gives me a good discount on it, but she was the one who turned me on to using this and it has saved my skin. Step number five with my Environ Focus Care Comfort Plus Colostrum Gel. Um, this retails normally for $66. And again, it actually lo uh, lasts just as long as my vitamin A does because it's kind of a little bit waterier. So a little bit goes a long way. Um, this is 
an immunity boost for your skin. It definitely helps with any fine lines or redness and it just kind of strengthens your skin. So it's kind of the perfect partner for vitamin A as well. I think it's step six, um, which is my Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. This stuff is amazing. I think it retails for about $35. And I think I usually get about six months worth um, out of each little thing. And it definitely just, I've noticed such a difference in my under eyes, like this is incredible. It's nice and thick, um, but it doesn't feel too sticky and it just kind of absorbs right into your skin. Here's the eye cream, scraping the bottom of the barrel here, but I always just lightly put a little bit all the way around my eye. Make sure to lightly dab it all the way. Super gently. And then I, of course, repeat on my other eye. I ordered this off the Glossier website. I think it was $26 for this thing, but it pumps out these perfectly portioned little puffs of um, product, and I can definitely tell that this is gonna last for a while. I just use it for my lips. Um, I thought that this might be a good replacement for the Kiehl's because I was really excited when Glossier came out with this. Um, but I think it's definitely a little bit more watery than I like, but I definitely like how hydrated my lips feel after I use this. step which is my nighttime moisturizer by Vibing Skincare. It has allantoin in it uh, which is really sedating and it's perfect for any inflammation that I have which for whatever reason ever since I moved to Savannah is a lot so this definitely works wonders especially uh, I can notice my skin looks a lot calmer when I wake up in the morning which is great. Um, the price point for this I think is around I saw it was like $55, but again, like you only need just like a little less than a dime size amount for your face. So it lasts for a really, really long time. And it's incredible. It does, I have oily skin and it doesn't make your skin feel too oily at all. It's just like, it's nice and moisturizing and the perfect last step. skin after doing my eight step skincare routine. I definitely feel cleaner and a lot more glowy and radiant and most importantly hydrated. So hopefully doing all of this in my early 20s will keep me from being wrinkly in my old age. So fingers crossed that all the time that I spend on this will be worth it. Good night. <laughs>